Welcome back, and here's our update for the first part of the week. So here's the roof braces um, being actually popped from the um, plug, so the mold separated from the plug, and those actually came out really nice. And here's a still shot, so you can see uh, exactly how that came out. So we're happy with that, all nice and clean. The next thing was to finish off the floor braces. So that, again, those are two-part um, two part molds. So here we are doing the second half. So we've got the the um, little flange board that we're working up to there. And this, we're putting down the black, what I like to call the black goop. It's kind of like tar, really. It's very sticky and messy and that sort of stuff. But that's basically kind of the gel coat that goes down first. And the next thing we've decided to uh, mill the new um, aft bulkhead, which is going to be much simpler than the one we had. And actually, it's going to allow us to set up our um, parachute um, encasement much easier and just make things a lot simpler and faster for building uh, production. So out with the foam again, and it wasn't quite wide enough, these two pieces we had, so put a little bit in the middle there, started milling that. And uh, here's the floor brace all done there with a peel ply on that. So there's two of those. Obviously there's one, and I believe I have the other one here on the video. Yeah, there's the other one uh, all done. So those didn't take long to finish those up, and that was, um, you know, putting the uh, four coats of uh, or four layers of carbon on there so here jeff's laying up the core for uh, the fuselage and he's sort of part way through and sort of piecing that together and so hopefully next week we'll actually be laying up that part and further along on the uh, aft bulkhead here and, and just milling with the uh, round um, end mill the uh, parachute strap inserts there on the top of that bulkhead to meet up with those and of course the parachute strap encasing will be right on that flat, flat face there to the left of that once this is all installed. And you'll see that in the future. And he's a little bit further along just milling the other one. So it didn't take too long to do that. We basically had the foam up there um, last night and did the rough cut. And then today did all the finish cutting and had it off there um, at lunchtime ready to be all, all glassed up and then of course if you remember back um, you do foam and then a, a layer of glass and then we spray the putty on there and back on the machine so you'll see that one again um, in the next couple of days going forward and here it's off the machine and um, Zach's there running the router around there just rounding off the edges so we used to do that by hand just round them off but it's much quicker just now we have the router zip around there you can see all the edges are rounded and that allows the um, the fiberglass to lay down better on the part without sort of um, you know want to, want to, wanting to stick up around those right angles. And uh, here's Devin working on that little brace, finishing that off. So that before just had a single coat or single layer of glass on it. So now he's got it there um, and finished off the two lightweight coats of carbon and um, four heavy ones as well. And next up, the guys were uh, glassing um, that aft bulkhead plug. So there's a heavy layer of uh, fiberglass on there and a bunch of resin and starting to work that on there. And that, again, that didn't take too long. We're getting you know pretty good at doing this sort of stuff now. And so there it is pretty much all finished at the end of the day. So we pretty much rocked that thing out in, in two days or less. So that's good. And here's the one that Devin was working on. And because that had a lot of right angles in there, we decided to, or Jeff, Jeff decided to vacuum bag that one. So that's all under vacuum there. And here is the fuselage. Pretty much all laid up. And we just have to create a little, some templates to um, cleanly cut out those, the door openings there. Because they're just sort of roughed in right now. And uh, that will have be all the core now ready. So we can lay that next week or we'll create that fuselage skin next week, which is pretty exciting. And meanwhile, over at our engine shop, um, Doug was having a problem with the flange on the exhaust that he had bought um, to meet up with the, the turbo, and so decided to mill one. So they actually rough one out in, on using their own CNC. I think he's using the one from the guy across the street, actually. Uh, milling uh, the flange for the exhaust, and it's basically going to encapsulate the exhaust pipe, so it'll be much stronger. So there you can see with the, with the pipe sort of sitting in there, and they've pretty much got that milled. So they're moving along, and uh, we should be getting the, our invoice for the ECU so, soon as well. So that's our update, and thanks for watching.